Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. As you can see I'm not in my flat, I'm not at my grandparents, where the f go on? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I am on holiday with my grandparents, with my mum as well. Well, I say holiday, we're only staying until Sunday night and it's currently Friday, we're staying for Easter. So, what's this video about? I thought I'd do a bit of an update because I haven't done a proper update in a long time. So, where do we start? Let's start with university. I have my graduation date, which I'm excited about because I get to graduate. I'm getting the MacBook Pro next week, which I'm excited about. I haven't had a pro in about five years, so I'll be very happy to go back to having a pro. Mental health. Now, here's why we need to talk. I'm currently really struggling with my eating disorder, and it's honestly one of the things I struggle with the most, because when I'm around my family, I have to eat. However, uh, next week when I go back to my flat, I don't have to eat, and I've been really restricting what I intake i've been only drinking diet coke but it's just become a real struggle living situation wise i don't know what's going on i want to move out of supported living i don't like being in supported living i don't like constantly being checked up on i don't like having my medication stored in a medication room i honestly just want out of there so what i'm doing is i'm going to be saving 300 pound of my pit every month and I'm saving the remainder of my student finance after I buy my laptop. The laptop's costing me nearly three, th nearly a thousand six hundred pounds. It's a lot of money, but it's a worth. It's got an M3 chip laptop. It's got an SD port and SD card in port, so I don't have to use my connector. It's got HDMI cable, so I can do use stuff if I, get a, if I ever get a TV. But my long-term goal was to move closer to my family. And I did actually ask my mom the other day if I could move back in with her. Because they're moving to... My mom's going to be running a pub. And they have four bedrooms. And my mom's making me a bedroom for when I want to go stay with her. I asked if I could move back in and honestly it was kind of upsetting. My mum said it's not ideal because of my past which she's comparing me now to when I was 16, 18. She, I haven't lived with her since I was 18. But compared to that it's quite upsetting because I really have changed in that time. So now I'm looking for houses in Telford and they're about 7 50 a month. But yeah, things are a bit up in the air for me at the minute because I'm not happy in supported living and there's nothing I can do about it. I want to move after I've graduated. I want to graduate first. I am a bit hurt by my mum that I can't live with her because I thought she'd, really, like, she'd understand that I've changed. And I'm not the same as I used to be. I don't self-harm anymore. I don't lock myself in bathrooms after taking overdoses. I don't steal knives to cut myself with. I don't steal money off them anymore. I have my own money coming in. So all the th negative things that I used to do, I don't do anymore. Yes, I still have an eating disorder, but... I can manage that. I just don't know what to say anymore. So it has been a rough ride, really. But honestly, I feel I feel okay in myself. I'm not. I know it's a video that I was suicidal, but I'm not actively suicidal. So please don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm not going to attempt all of my life. I just wish that there was something I could do to go back in time and not do all the things I used to do. I miss having friends around me. Because all my friends just 
when I have Alana, who's in Australia. I have my friend Aaron, who's in Telford. Speaking of Alana, I'm, I'm ordering her a Christmas, uh, not Christmas, a birthday gift for the end of April. And I really hope she likes what I send her. It's something she mentioned on call to me that she wanted to get. So I hope I've done the right thing. I also bought a new Squishmallow today. It's a new, a bit of a big foot, but I haven't seen it before. So I had to get it. My money is well spent. That's, that's the only thing I've treated myself to this month. But yeah, I think that's kind of all I've got for an update. But I hope you guys understand that when I say every subscribe matters, it really does for me. Every, every view I get means the world to me. I started uploading twice a week. Mondays and Fridays at 7 p.m. and honestly it's going quite well. My videos were really underperforming when I was uploading every day. Now they're doing a bit better they're going over 100 so that's good. I'm getting comments on all my videos which is great for engagement. If you want to support my channel because you like what I do and want bonus content, head over to my Patreon, which is linked up there. And when I upload to Patreon, I upload, I'm uploading eating disorder vlogs at the minute because I can't post them on YouTube because they get taken down. So, facing my eating disorder is on my channel. But anyway, thank you for watching, and if you are new, subscribe. Join the growing family. Thanks for watching and peace.